Hello, Artful Manifestors. Thank you for joining me today. So excited to have you here and to connect with your beautiful, amazing energy. In today's reading, we are going to be connecting with Ra and getting a message, a channeled message from Ra to you. Before we do that, I do want to let you know that I'm giving away a free personalized tarot reading and all you have to do to qualify is like this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and comment love and light. I'll be announcing the winner on July 5th, 2025 during the next new moon. If you are new to the channel, welcome. So happy to have you here. I'm giving away a free reading to show my appreciation for all the amazing, wonderful, beautiful, spiritual, high vibing souls that tune in so you are in good company if you are new all right for the first reading we have the two of hearts and for the second reading we have the Five of Spades. And for the third reading, we have the Four of Spades. You may already know which pile you're most drawn to, but in case you like to hear the, what the crystals are, let me introduce those to you now. For pile number one, we have Tiger's Eye. And for pile number two, we have clear crystal quartz. And for pile number three, we have zoisite. So let your intuition guide you. Whichever crystal and or card you're most drawn to is probably the message meant for you, although you're always welcome to listen to two or even all three of the readings, as there may be additional messages for you in those readings. You'll find a link to the readings in the description box below. Hello, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. You chose the tiger's eye which really helps you to be more grounded and helps you to slow down so that you can appreciate the little things, bringing you mental clarity and balance. You also chose the Two of Hearts, which in this deck doubles as the Two of Cups and Temperance. So already we have a second message of balance. I love how the stones always connect to the cards. So let's find out what Ra is assisting you in balancing and how. I do put the names of all the cards that I use in the description box below if that's something that you're interested in. Stag spirit, take the lead. All right. Let's get one of these. I'm also hearing inner harmony since this card doubles as the two of cups and temperance. The two of cups is all about harmony. Transformation. I believe that's the phoenix. Love that. And let's get a card from this deck as well. There we go. Druid, hold the space. I 
think this is how you're going to lead by holding the space. All right, let's get some tarot cards and get some more clues, pile number one. What message does Ra have for pile number one? Two of Pentacles. And we see this balancing. So again, another message of balance. And pentacles are, certainly it can be finances, balancing your finances. But it can also be balancing your efforts, balancing your physical reality. The Hanged Man. Taking time to meditate, to reflect, taking a time to pause. Certainly the energy of the Hanged Man goes right along with the Druid and hold the space. So, for example, when somebody is talking and they're trying to express themselves, but somebody else keeps interrupting or keeps trying to finish their sentences, it can be disruptive to the person that's trying to express themselves. But if you were a third person there or even if it's just you and the person trying to express themselves, just holding the space and allowing someone to express themselves or being the leader that is quiet and holds the space and maybe even redirects the conversation back to the person expressing themselves after the interruption from the other party. I know that's really specific. That's just something they showed me. So perhaps you know somebody like that. The King of Cups. Oh, there we go. The Four of Swords. Rest, recuperation, restore, recover. And this is the after tarot. So I really have to look at what's going on in the images because it's slightly different than a regular tarot deck. It combines two different cards usually. But it's interesting that in this first card, we have temperance pouring water from one cup to the other. And here we see the King of Cups pouring the water out and being surrounded by water. Like he's had enough, he's done with something. The star. Give me one moment. All right, the star. So again, we see water being poured out. But in this picture, some of the water is being poured over her head that she's pouring. And then the other is to nourish someone else. But doing both nourishing herself and nourishing these plants here. Let's get one more. 
tarot card. I feel this one. The Three of Wands. Expansion. And, you know, I almost feel like the ship in this card is from the normal Three of Wands card. We also see this idea of freedom as this bird is being released, taking flight, a message. I feel like these cards uh, tell an interesting story. We see it the two of pentacles this figure balancing on one foot and you know juggling doing a juggling act right trying to balance things while on one foot and even the waves look at the waves how high they are look at the ship how high up it is it's a little tumultuous trying to do this balancing act and then here we see somebody literally tied with their, their hands are tied behind their back and they're hanging upside down. So it's like you're being asked to juggle all of these things while having your hands tied. Like you feel like you can't do something in this situation and then the King of Cups, it, we see somebody that's just, maybe they're fed up with the situation. They've just had enough, right? They're surrounded by this energy and they're just going to pour it out. They're going to release it now. Release that energy. And then we see the rest, recuperation, recovery. And then we see hope and replenishment, restoration. And the three of wands is, you know, expansion and success. So I think that you are being asked to transform a situation by taking the lead and not uh, leaving it up to others, not being, you know, don't sit on your hands, don't be passive, don't allow others to take charge, but to lead by modeling integrity and holding the space for others, encouraging others, giving people the space and the opportunity to grow and to flourish, but to make sure that you take care of yourself. See, it's taking care of yourself first before taking care of others so that you don't get overwhelmed or drained of your energy by whoever this is. Normally the King of Cups, you know, it's a very positive card but it can also be somebody maybe that's either a bully, but in this situation, it looks like somebody who maybe is wasteful or um, it doesn't appreciate things that are done for them or, <clears throat> excuse me, things that they have because they take it for granted. He has so much water. What does he need this water for? And so by you showing appreciation for others, you taking the lead and you setting that example of graciousness, of gratitude, appreciation, of recognizing other people, um, of acting with integrity and being humble holding the space for others to flourish and to help nurture them in that quiet way, 
and it's a very quiet way of nurturing others just by giving them that space to figure things out, to maybe make mistakes and recover rather than, you know, jumping in and doing it for them because that would be a juggling act. And through that way, through that, you're, you're going to have time to replenish yourself and recover. And it's going to be liberating for everyone involved. Really nice, really nice message from Ra. Thank you, Ra. Beautiful message. The light in me sees the light in you. Bye. Hello, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. You chose the clear crystal quartz, which helps to balance all of the chakras. It brings clarity and it amplifies your power. It's a very powerful crystal, a good one to have. You also chose the five of spades. And we see here somebody playing a game of cards. Do they have a good hand? Is your hand better? It's an idea of competition and knowing your opponent, not knowing what they have. We'll see how that energy, both of those energies, fold into the rest of your reading from Ra. File number two, what message does Ra have for you? What does Ra want you to know at this time? I do list all the cards that I use in the description box below if that's something you're interested in. All right, here we go. Cow spirit. The miracles are endless. All right, I like that. And you know, the cow is associated with Hathor, who was one of Ra's consorts. It's, you know, a, a nurturing, feminine, loving, abundant energy, but in Egyptian mythology, there was uh, Ra's eye that was Hathor. All right, let's get some more information. But I love the confirmation from Ra and the visitation from Hathor's energy coming in as well. Really nice. And we have sunflowers. Of course, the sun is associated with Ra and Hathor. All right. Opportunity. And look at this little bee. There's a story that Ra gifted humanity bees that he cried and his tears were bees i'm hearing that things are going to come out better than you think so if there's something that you're working on or trying for or worried about what I'm hearing from Ra is things are going to come out better than you think. Let's get some more information. What message does Ra have for pile number two? All right, this card, I think. Animal guardian, trust your instincts. Love that. And right on cue, here comes the, you probably hear the little pitter-patter of my little animal guardian. <laughs> mm 
All right, so Ra, I want you to know that trust your instincts. There's opportunities coming. Things are going to turn out better than you think. Expect miracles. The miracles are endless. All right, let's consult the tarot cards. This one. Two of Pentacles. All right, this came out in the same position for pile number one. So if you are drawn to pile number one, there may be a message for you there. I'll let you know if I see anything else from pile number one. But the Two of Pentacles, and this is the after tarot, so it's not like the normal Two of Pentacles. It combines different aspects of different cards together. And we see somebody balancing on one foot, you know, doing a juggling act or balancing act, holding two coins. And what they're balancing, we don't know. It could be because it's coins balancing your budget. Perhaps there is a message to balance your budget. Let's get some more clues and find out what Ra is saying about balancing. The two of wands. All right, that's two twos, and this is pile number two. So two, two, two. If you see two, 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 or 22, just know that this is a message from Ra about you bringing things into balance. He is assisting you to bring things into balance. And make sure that you're spending some time in the sun receiving downloads from Ra. Ra is definitely sending you messages. Perhaps some of you are thinking about going on a trip. We see the explorer holding the world in his hand. And here we see a ship with people getting on board. There's also a message of better returns than what you expected. Again, so there's this message of expecting Whatever it is that you're expecting, it's going to be even better. Temperate. <laughs> wow. Okay, this is the card of balance. It's just balance, balance, balance. Balance everything in your life. And, you know, how the heat is standing reminds me of the tree pose. So... If you don't know what that is, it's very similar to that. You can uh, look it up. It's a yoga pose called the tree pose where you balance on one foot and then you can switch and do the other foot. But the physical act of balancing is going to invite the energy of balance into your life. Whatever it is happening in your life right now, it's bringing you the opportunity to balance your life in all areas. Balancing your spirituality, balancing your checkbook, balancing work-life balance. Balancing your own power, trusting your instincts, and not giving power to others. The world. Give me one second. All right, the world. Again, this is everything. You are balancing everything. And I see that you're doing it. You have the assistance of Ra to do this. Balancing your belief in yourself, trusting your instincts, balancing your budget. If you hear little 
voice, you know, like, okay, maybe we should hold off on, on spending to, you know, before we make this purchase, uh, trust your instincts. Really balancing your thoughts. We see here in the world card, all of the suits, all of the elements, swords, cups, wands, and pentacles. So balancing your actions with your intentions, balancing your thoughts so that your outer reality reflects your inner reality, your inner beliefs, your inner thoughts, balancing your love, your passions. I am loving your, I mean, it's such a clear message pile number two and the page of cups so the page of cups is curious and you may be getting to learn something learning to balance things of course but you could be learning something that is near and dear to your heart something that will bring you fulfillment really really nice pile number two The message is clear that Ra is encouraging you and assisting you to bring balance into your life at this time and wants you to trust your instincts. I want to read to you from the guidebook what this card says. Trust the powerful animal spirit within to learn more about yourself and your talents. The animal guardian is the card that represents the angels of the animal kingdom. Animals are angels of nature who have incredible lessons to offer and medicine that can support you on your spiritual journey and help you survive some of your greatest challenges. When you connect with the energies of animals, you can learn a lot about yourself and the earth. You also have intrinsic animal energy within that are direct, that can direct you towards anything you need and more. The animal guardians card depicts a tribal angel being held and supported by her animals. She has a love for them and they have a love for her, demonstrating how incredibly connected nature is with the spiritual realms. And I love that it said, and more, because we saw here the miracles are endless, and I told you that, and here we see greater returns than what you expected. So I shared that Ra said, more than what you expected. It's gonna be better than what you expected. Whatever the five of spades is representing, whatever you're playing at at this moment, uh, you can amplify your power by practicing balance in all areas of your life, taking a holistic approach, being curious and willing to learn new things, and expecting that things are gonna work out for the best, better than you imagined. Love your message, pile number two. The light in me sees the light in you. Thank you, bye. Hello, pile number three, welcome to your reading. You chose the soy site, which increases your creativity, your positivity, it's a very healing stone and it enhances your spiritual growth, promotes a feeling of rebirth and renewal. 
And you also chose the Four of Spades, which is like the Four of Swords and the Death card in this deck. And so, again, we have this theme of destruction, creation, death, rebirth, and renewal. So, already have this collaborating energy theme of rebirth and renewal in your reading. So let's see what the oracle cards tell us and the rest of your cards. What message does Ra, and you know what they're telling me is that this idea of rebirth and renewal, the way ancient Egyptians saw the movement of the sun was they believed that Ra sailed across the sky during the day in a boat and that was the journey of the sun in daytime and at night would go into the underworld so but every morning be reborn and renewed Right, I'm already so excited about your reading, pile number three. Bat spirit, a rebirth is assured. Wow. You are being reborn as something new. That is amazing pile number three rebirth and renewal rebirth and renewal rebirth you are about to shine If you've been in the dark, you've been feeling down, just know your rebirth is imminent. Some of you may be already close to that rebirth or just kind of peeking out and you are about to shine as this new you. get a card from this deck. I do put the names of all the cards that I use in the description box below and I'm now including a link in case you want to purchase them. Heart Guardian, love and let yourself be loved. If you have been feeling unworthy or undeserving, that is about to change. Ra is shining his light on you so that you can feel the love of the divine from within and from others. Be sure to spend time safely in the sun, receiving downloads from Ra and divine love, divine truths from Ra. Your life is about to change for the better. I'm so excited for you. All right, let's get some tarot cards. King of Pentacles. Look at that. Look at this bull bowing to the king. Justice. Again, if you've been experiencing some kind of trouble 
unfairness, the scales are about to be righted. You will feel heard, you will feel seen. Justice will prevail, I'm hearing. The lovers, give me one moment. The lovers. Harmony, balance, and harmony. Yeah, I feel like some of you felt like things were going against you or things were unfair. And that is about to change. You are being reborn and renewed. The King of Cups. Wow. Two Kings, two Major Arcana. Let's get at least one more card. I feel this one. The Page of Wands. I feel some of you, this is a very small percentage, some of you in the new, near future may get a proposal. For most of you, I feel that this is a rebirth of yourself as the energy of the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles combined with the lovers here in the center. And the lovers is card number six, a number of balance, and then you have the justice here. So perhaps you were too focused on material gains for example, and now you are becoming uh, more spiritually attuned, spending more time in nature, recognizing your feelings, your intuition as a spiritual tool, and beginning your second awakening for some of you your rebirth as the page of wands beginning this second awakening this deepening this new journey into spirituality and your passion and the reason i say second awakening is because we have the King of Pentacles, the King of Cups, both very mature energies. And then you have these two major arcana, balance, lovers. I don't feel that if you were experiencing something in the dark, for at least the majority of you, that it was the dark night of the soul. I feel for most of you, You've already gone through that, come out of it, and this is now the next level up. You're now starting your journey as a more intuitive, more spiritual being. I want to read to you what this card is, what the guidebook says about this armadillo card, which is card number 26. We connect to our inner light when we connect to the source that created us. Armadillo's medicine asks you to create a very intimate relationship 
with that which created you. You are being asked to level up your daily prayers and create a dialogue with life. Drop all your wants and desires and create an intense conversation with the great mystery about receiving guidance to do what you were created to do. We all have a special gift that lies dormant within us, waiting to actualize. In this moment of deep connection to the great mystery, a mysterious energy begins to activate your gift. This conversation and prayer you create needs to feel very real. Prayer does not need to look one specific way. It is intimate communion with that which you were created from. Start speaking to life. If you create this intense and mystical relationship with life daily, you will begin to witness yourself unlocking all your gifts. Life speaks back to those who speak to it, but it is your job to start the conversation. You might not receive an answer right away, but it will come to you with full force in this perfect way at the right time. Armadillo's Medicine says, that you are about to be seen, heard, felt, witnessed, understood, and recognized. It's coming for you. You are about to shine so brightly, but now is the before time when you first must ignite your gift of light through going inward and channeling the universe. Didn't I tell you, you are about to be recognized, seen, heard, all of that. Okay, I was receiving a lot of downloads while I was reading that. And one of them is back to what I was saying about this being like a second awakening. It's because you've had some time, many of you, most of you, some of you, this could be coming out of the dark night of the soul, but I feel the majority of you, you've had some time and space now between the dark night of the soul and now, and you've gotten very comfortable and things are good. You've had your needs met. Things have been, have been feeling pretty good. And so you've been I don't want to say resting on your laurels, but what they showed me was like somebody surfing or sailing who stops commanding their ship and just kind of lets the water take them wherever they want. And so thinking of a surfer who kind of like stops paying attention and focusing on the energy of the waves and then a big wave comes and grabs their attention so that they have to focus. I feel like maybe something happened recently to grab your attention so that you have to focus on, on your spiritual experiences, on your energies, on your rhythms, listening to your body, listening to your emotions king of pentacles very much is the physical body it's earth and king of cups is emotions so again i see this union of the two you paying attention to both bringing balance back you regaining your balance just like that surfer who maybe was starting to daydream regaining your balance and then having this rebirth combining the energy of those two as the curious page uh this passionate spiritual person who is curious and who is deepening their understanding of spirit the energies of spirit and learning to navigate at a completely different level a newfound purpose or a resurgence of your purpose really beautiful beautiful energy pile number three so ra wants you to know that whatever imbalance you have recently experienced 
is about to be balanced, righted. If you felt like something was unfair, it's because you need to take charge, take matter into your own hands. You need to balance your emotional and physical energies and start to understand them on a deeper level and embrace your true purpose. Life is a continuing unfolding and this is more unfolding a level up. So if you experienced any discomfort, I feel for many of you, this is the recent past and you're already in the rest, recuperation, recovery, rebirth stage. It's like, I don't see the hermit here. I don't see anything like that. I feel that's something that happened in the past. And now you're about to be reborn and experience this divine love. Feel the love from your higher self in a much more mature way, but with the innocence and curiosity of a page. And Ra also wants you to safely go outside and receive downloads from the sun. Amazing. Let's see what the card at the bottom of the deck is. The Hierophant. And you know, when I picked it up, I did also see the Ace of Wands, which is the birth of a spiritual So again, spirituality, and for a couple of you, possibly a marriage with the lovers and the Hierophant, but for the majority of you, I see you in the future being the Hierophant, of being a new kind of spiritual expression, your kind of spiritual expression. a gift, a rebirth, another symbol of rebirth in spirituality. Love this for you, pile number three. Absolutely love it. So excited for you. Please let me know uh, if this resonates. Let me know if you chose pile number three because you are very special with your second awakening. If that sounds like something that resonates with you, let me know. So excited for you, pile number three. Excited to see what new expression of spirituality you will share. The light in me sees the light in you. Thank you. Bye.